So, this is the part where you would actually see the uh, intro of the video game, but I can't show you that, because the intro of the video game actually uses the anime footage, and YouTube really doesn't like that. So I can't show you the intro of the video game. So uh, here's a picture of Fu in Figma form, and you're going to be seeing that for the next 10 minutes, because we didn't start the game up because we wanted to talk about our experiences and how we were even able to get the game in the first place. And um, the beginning of the game has a lot of talking in, in it, so we didn't want to, you know, talk over that kind of stuff. So, here's ten minutes of Foo. Alright. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect them to actually do an English version of this opening. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a fucking surprise. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> greetings, viewers. It is I, Nick. It is I, Manny Fresh. And no Mark this time because, uh, he didn't watch this anime, so he was like, nope, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> so. He has no idea what this is, so. Yeah. I think, understandable. I mean, I, he, we can cringe that it's actually in English, but, I, but the fact that he even did this is actually pretty, you know, quality. Yeah, yeah. But, yes, I would prefer the Japanese one, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, 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 um, now, I didn't buy this, this is actually, <laughs> yeah, but, well, for one thing, this is actually an actual physical copy being run right now, we are recording an actual physical copy of Magical Ray Earth on the Saturn, it was you, a, you know, that game that cost like a thousand bucks? It was a great find, I just say. Well, <laughs> well, yes. Our, my uncle is the mad lad who actually bought this game. <laughs> well, I I got down to because they had a discount that day. Yeah, surprisingly. Every, yeah, everything was ten percent off that day. So instead of hundred dollars yeah, extra it, off. Hey, that, hey, that's a hundred less. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, we're playing Magical Ray Earth, guys. Yep. And uh, yes, yeah, so like we said. Mark's not here, even though he's here, but not here. <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I guess we could talk about this before we actually pop in the game and actually fucking play it. Um, I guess we could talk about the story that led to uh, this game even coming towards us in any way possible. I think we should start with, um, it all started more with uh, Otakon first, because, uh, me and Mark found the Japanese copy there and showed it to Manny. And yes. then... And then Manny was like, I must have this! And Nick said, but it's in Japanese. Damn it! <laughs> I can't read it! But he bought it anyway. I bought it anyway. Yeah. But, when we went to, went to Vegas... Yeah, like a couple months later, like maybe like last month. Yes. Or, or the month before, I forget. Or was it early last month? In yeah, October? Yeah, it, was, it, was like, October. it was in the yeah. teens. Yeah, it, was, it was in the teens. It was in the teens. Well, let's just say it's in early October anyway. Yeah. Um, we went to, uh, Vegas. For vacation. For vacation stuff. Um, and, what? Well, sorry, there was a, a noise we had to take care of. But, uh, yeah, we went to, from um, Vegas for vacation stuff. And then we, well, um, what we, <laughs> this is something we've been doing now when we go on these family vacations that we're like, okay, where's the retro stores at? <laughs> where yep. the retro stores in the area? After we kind of reestablished retro collectors now. Yeah. So we're like, all right, so every time we're going to be, one of the times we will, us three go on vacation together. And we're going to record our adventure. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, yeah, so we went, so one of the ones we went there, um, I spotted it first and pointed out the man. like, man, look, it's Ray Earth. And man was like, I don't know, it's a lot of money. But then he kept staring at it. Yeah, and then, so and then, like, he, then it started to it consume him. building, kept it's building. This, my, my precious. Oh no! <laughs> it's the ring! <laughs> and then when I heard like, oh, the discount? Oh, that pushed me over. Hey, like, yeah, I ain't gonna get it any cheaper than this. So. And guess what? Our uncle came a little famous from the employees. Get it like, man, th this Yeah, guy. I did. Yeah, because um, we went to their uh, their other store a day later, and they were talking about him. He's like, this yeah. guy! He, he bought the game! He bought the actual game! He bought the very expensive game! And then Manny came in all cool, like, you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, there he is! He's right here! But, uh, yeah. But just to let you know, that you make you sure. No, this is a real copy. Yep. He, here's, uh, here's us a recording of Manny holding it and showing it off right now. 
But yeah, that, yeah, it's real. It's right there. Yeah. This thousand dollar game, we're we're playing it right now. Yep, I still have now, the. But still, now, still had the price label on it too. But now, as I say this, now if, this if, this was not planned for the Sega Thon. So, do you feel the expensiveness? I, I, yeah, I have to be delicate putting the game in, but as I say this, <laughs> I, I guess I gotta, I gotta make sure I say this before everyone before everyone watching this gets instantly hyped about this. This was not planned to be played during the Sega Thon. So we don't so, do in one session. Yeah, we're doing a basically let's look at. Now, yeah. that, does that mean we're not gonna do a full playthrough? We're gonna do a full playthrough, just not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I mean, you can, um, I guess, wherever we stop here, that's the way we will, we will continue. Well, yeah, sure. Sure. And, and, unless my dream, my Saturn was like, hey, you don't have enough space, you idiot. And then we're like, fuck. Oh, well, we gotta start all over again. <laughs> but anyway, so, right. um, I would, well, like, I'm gonna let y'all do this, because I gotta change. I just came home. Okay. So, I'll let y'all, just let me know after an hour when y'all finish this. All right, all right. All right, everybody, um, this is it. I'm gone. I'm not gonna be in the video no more. This is Mark. Hit notification bell. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I guess we could. T I, I don't. I, I, there's probably gonna be a lot of talking to this, so I probably should, we should probably say <laughs> say what how what how we were exposed to the show before we jump in because I know there's a lot of talking in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So you were the OG. Yeah. How did you were you exposed to Magical Ray Earth? It's, um, it's weird, because uh, I, I was introduced first by Through the Music. <laughs> the intro? Yes. Um, it was in high school, and a friend of mine, she was, like, also a big fan of, like, Bisojo anime, all the Magical Girls anime, mm. and she had, like, a CD of the Sailor Moon soundtrack, and I asked her if she could, like, make a copy for me. Ah. And it's like, oh, and also I have this other uh, music of Major Night Rare. You might enjoy it. Like, okay. And I enjoyed it. The, the, the opening song got me right away, hooked me into it. Mm. The, the Japanese, not this crap. <laughs> but, um, so I, I researched and I found the anime. And it was a hassle to get the anime of it. Yeah. Back in the days, because it, yeah, it yeah. wasn't not. I heard, uh, I heard about it. This, this, was, this wasn't really a common anime at the time. No, it was not. Um, uh, I finally got like a. Well, well, they were like releasing it singly, like. Um, what, like on VHS. Uh, uh, VHS, yes. Um, I was not going to go for that because they cost like thirty or forty dollars for each of them. For like what? How many episodes? Three. I, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> This got get me every time when because I had we I had the Pokemon VHSs and they like after like not one but two but three four episodes and you like I'm like that, that's like that's like nothing. Each action-packed volume contains not one not two but three full episodes. That's three times a Pokemon, three times the action, three times the fun. <laughs> that's nothing. But that's yeah. but you know it's the format. You couldn't put so many on a on a VHS. Mm -hmm. And that didn't even annoy the shit out of me when DVD was a thing. It, 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 I'm happy and we're in the modern age where we can actually have, like, all, I guess, 26 or so episodes, like, mm -hmm. on one actual pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of, like, you need to get volume one, volume two, volume three. I know, like, a bajillion, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, that makes, you know, that's still a thing because there's so many episodes. But, like, a show like this, you can get it all in one package now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, to go along with what Nick just said, so I finally got to watch the anime when they finally released it in a box set on DVD. Mm. So I would just say like five years after being introduced to it. Yeah. So my exposure to this is, well, well th this game. Because <laughs> I was like, you know, looking up, up Saturn and stuff. And this was one of the, the holy grails of the library. This was like one of the last, um, uh, I think it might be the last English game to get released on the Saturn. Mm. Like, this is the mm. last one that got localized. But, um, but, but, like, when the, you know, basically when the Saturn was fucking dead at this point. Yeah. But, uh, so I knew about the, this as a thing, but I didn't watch the anime and I did not. I did not know there was a game. Yeah. I didn't watch the anime until, um, Manny bought this game at, um, at Otacon. 
The Japanese, yeah. Yeah, the Japanese one. Because I, I saw the box set there when I was looking around all the anime stuff. For some reason, it was right next. It was like in the pile where all the hentai was. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> but um, but I was like, and I, I like, I was like, I like these designs. Uh, maybe I should, maybe I should give this a watch. And um, I well, watched the first season after that, and then a little bit of the second season, and I kind of stopped at the second season because it, <laughs> it, 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 it uh, well, I'll get into it when we actually get into gameplay. But that's, I'll, I'll just say, I the, the game only covers the first season, thankfully. So, and I like the first season. Yes, three as well. So. Let's, instead of, um, how long, uh, t 11 minutes, 11 minutes of us staring at the intro for 5,000 times. And listening to the same damn English song version of so, it. So, uh, I, I know people will be watching, like, when are they gonna fucking play the game? <laughs> but, but unfortunately, the game, there's a lot of talking, so I didn't want to be like, well, we'll just talk while they're talking. Like, no, we gotta take it all in. This is a very expensive game. <laughs> we need to take it all in, please. Yes experience every oh yeah that's another there's another thing this is actually done by sega actually yes. um uh, i forget uh, this is this is bad because i forgot her name because she just died recently the one who got who was the director for this game she uh, did uh fantasy star one two and four mm. and a bunch of other sega games as well and she just passed away recently and i it, it hurts that i forgot her name uh, i'll put her name on the screen but uh you know r.i.p it's, it's published by Sega, but it's been made by Working Designs, right? Well, no, Working Designs localized it. Oh, okay. But Sega, them, that's why I see saw Sega in the beginning. No, Sega oh, actually made the game. Actually made the game. Got, got. Yeah, Sega can make anime games too. <laughs> anyway, let's let's fucking start it and uh, see the so the localized so the the so the the dub is not the same dub as it's the an anime. actual anime dub. So it's actually worse. Like the dub itself is fine. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it's fine. This land, this place, the dark tide must be quelled. I must call them. Oh boy, load times. <laughs> yeah. The load times will be a painful little bit. Oh. Uh, now, now it's time for me to remember their fucking names. I think that her name is like Hikaru. Hikaru. And then there's the best girl, Fu. The green. And then, uh, I forget what the blue one's name. Hey! <laughs> Stop drawing attention to me, you little redhead fr- What the fuck? <laughs> I'm English. store security. We have reports that a clerk over there is hassling the customers. Even even though I live in Tokyo forever, this is my first visit to the tower. I'm afraid of heights. Tomorrow I might even go up to the second floor. And the blue-haired girl's name Umi. Yeah, Umi. Yeah. So uh, if you were, well, well, we already said Fu is best girl, but yes. but um, Hikaru, she's. She's cool, but she's very emotional, which uh, um, she that, it, it gets really bad in the second season, which is one of the reasons why I don't like the second season. She gets too easily swayed. <laughs> but um, and Umi, she gets better later on, but she kind of just bitches a lot. Well, she's the snobby rich girl, so the place to her character. Now. The car is like the tomboyish, tomboyish. So, from what I've seen from little snippets of this game, it kind of looks like just a fucking Zelda game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like top-down swords and shit. So disappointed, the aquarium's closed. Most people avoid going to the tourist attraction on a first date, but not me. Uh, oh, you want No! That would be too smart. My life is such a depressing mess. Alright, so are we, like, voicing each character? <laughs> yeah, sure. You want to be Fu, since that's your favorite? Well, well I think... Well, too. I think... I th well, I don't know if every cutscene is voiced, but I know there are voiced cutscenes. There is, but then there's also the bubble letter. 
the oh, whole well. uh, speech as who do, well. Who do you want to be? I don't care. I'll be Hikaru. Okay. I live near Tokyo Tower since it was built, but I never bothered to come see it. Now that I have, I don't see why people even bother coming at all. There they oh, are. Oh, there they are. Who you speak first? Who, who's your favorite? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. You look lost. Can I help you? Oh, that is, that is verbalized. Never mind, then. Uh-oh. Little doggy. Flash? What are you doing here? I don't remember this part in the anime. Is, is something wrong? This cute little mutt is my very naughty dog. I have to catch him before he causes any trouble. I don't like the word she's how the way she said naughty. Wait! <laughs> I'll help you! <laughs> Flash! Now, this could be... Now, I never read the manga, so maybe this scene happened in the manga. I don't know. Maybe. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into him. Tower. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the, the, this anime is an isekai. <laughs> oh yes, they need to get traveled to a different world. Transport to another world. The Sojo Isekai anime. Here you go. Made by Clamp. Yep. Very famous studio. All girls who uh, have works there. It's all girls. Yep. Appears that the magic knights have been summoned from beyond the barrier. Also, there, there's going to be a line here. Was the main reason why I'm like, I gotta play this game. <laughs> it's it's going to happen soon. And so, the legend becomes an embarrassing reality. What can they hope to accomplish using these children? Even if they manage to release Emerald, their power is too limited to be of consequence. Quite true, my liege. Of course. We must watch them closely to minimize any chance for surprises. As you wish. You can tell what's the new parts and not the stuff they reused in the anime is when they use 3D. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> what kind of nightmare is this? That hurt! Since we're all conscious of what's happening, I think we can rule out dreaming. It was a figure of speech. But whatever. We have to find out what happened. What is this strange place? It appears we've been blown out of our world and into another. That's the one thing that kind of irked me at the beginning. It's just, bam, no, we're in, we're in Isekai now. Stop thinking about that other part. Just bam, we're in RPG world. Stop thinking about when, how, or why. Oh, you're just, here. Just get into it. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> one thing's for certain. This isn't Tokyo. As we were falling, I saw a floating mountain and a volcano in the distance. I noticed that too, though I decided I might be hallucinating. Look, I'm not in the mood to compare trips. We've got to find a way out of here. Well, why don't we introduce ourselves first? What? Admittedly, this is a trying circumstance, but we can at least stay civil. Introductions seem like a natural starting point. Then we can put our heads together and get out of here. Count me in. <sighs> then I guess I have no choice. Count me in too. My mother said I blew in on a breeze, so I became known as Foo, which means wind. 
My friends call me Yumi. I'm 14 in the 8th grade. What a coincidence! I'm 14 too! My name's Hikaru. 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 <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what? You're the same age as me? You look like you're still in elementary school. Ouch. I must confess that I have the very same impression of you. It makes more sense in the anime because she was doing some silly shit in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Not not just going by onto her appearance. I quite obviously am substantially more mature than you, Foo. Are you going to bicker all day? Enough! Emerald must have made some mistake. You can't be the legendary Magic Knights. You're just bumbling children. What do you mean, children? You're more of a child than I am, buddy. I have lived on this world for 745 years. It seems like they're trying to at least imitate the, uh, the dub. Because, uh, yeah, Clef kind of did sound like in this kind of way. What? But who are you? My name is Clef. The boy should wonder. I'm the priest of Sephiro, and your guide in this realm. Until you reach the end of your journey together, you cannot return home. A lot of dialogue. Yeah, it's, uh, that's not the part I'm. I'm enjoying this part because you know, this, if you watch the show, you're like, yeah, it's like the show. But like, <laughs> I'm just it's just a little times that I can't fucking stand. Master, the legendary magic knights have successfully landed. Ha, it seems that our precious emerald is not bound as tightly as we thought. Her intent must be to revive the ancient machines. Where's my southern accent? She's supposed to have a southern accent. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Yeah, yeah, that's her. Her? Yeah. It, it, it's, it, it's hard to tell. You can tell because of her. It, okay. It just... It, the silhouette looks a little weird, but yeah, I, it's it's her. I think it's her. Yeah, the kid's right like here. Boy. He, he doesn't sound like a little boy at all. No. By the way, that's my favorite villain because every because he's like, I'm going to beat those magic knights and then they destroy his monster. He's like, <laughs> you killed my friend. I'm going to get revenge on you. And this repeats for like three episodes. And I'm just laughing every time. And eventually the hero, the girls are just like, dude, if you're going to get upset about it, just stop sending the monsters at us. <laughs> like, so you stop killing my friends and stop sending them at us. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Well, we have to defend ourselves. God knows all. The ones Emerald has summoned from beyond the barrier are merely. Children. What's your name, Emerald? I thought it was Maraudu or something. Yeah. Uh. The ones Emerald has summoned beyond the barrier. But now that Clef is guiding them. Oh, I mean the princess. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's Emerald. Hey, Emerald. <laughs> they just say Emerald. <laughs> That meddlesome priest is the fly in our ointment. The question is... Yeah, they aged him up in the second season, too. Mm. Yeah, where's our southern bell? <laughs> it was voiced by Rogue in X-Men. Yes. Oh, here's the funny scene. The time has come for a little child abuse. <laughs> my pleasures, God. Oh my God! <laughs> They're entertaining this thought! It's this time for some child abuse. <laughs> I mean, I mean they're not wrong, but yeah. it's still funny that they say that. They're just like, yeah. They're not hiding the fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though fucking, um, what was it, Zagat or whatever. He's supposed to be like, you know, he's technically evil, but he's actually a good guy. You have been summoned by Princess Emerald to fulfill em your destiny. Emma Wald. <laughs> Where, where's Knuckles at? <laughs> Yo, you try to go after my Emerald! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's a nice spray. Summon Ray Blast! Little boy powerful. Smoke! When Emerald was free, this land knew nothing of danger and suffering. All beings of Sephiro lived together in peace and harmony. 
Sephiro. Sephiro. Yeah. No, we're seeing the localization here. Not the best, but the fact that it's even here is a thing. But now, this world reels as a dark chaos seeks to engulf our very souls. You see, we're thankful. You, 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 see, you, see, you see, you kids nowadays, you guys got good localizations. Back in the day. Back Ooh. in the day, we had jelly filled donuts, invisible guns, <laughs> or, or just things are just improperly pronounced, changed music, mm -hmm. or just ruined scenes that are supposed to be very serious and very emotional. But yeah, so. Let's continue. The beasts of unthinkable savagery have consumed our world with fear. All of this came about simply because a princess was taken from you? Yes, Emerald was the cornerstone of all Sephiro. She alone held the power to keep it in balance. You see, in our world, simple thought is the most powerful kind of magic. And a soul pure in thought can wield more power than the most insidious of evils. Princess Emerald held our world together quite literally with her prayers. But then someone stole her away? And why would anyone want to imprison her? Sagat, her most trusted aide, has turned this black deed. His lust for power has pushed him to bind the princess and hold her in darkness. Oh yeah, we're not. Also, also we're playing this in the guys that we. I'm not going to be playing like, oh, we never saw the. You know, keep quiet about spoilers and stuff because we're. The point. The point of it is that we're just seeing the game how it play out. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna believe that most people who are looking at this are people who at least seen the anime before. So if you haven't seen the anime, I'm going to we're going to spoil stuff yes. because I want because there's things I want to talk about because I also find the <laughs> fucking it, I know it's like you know, you know that was a thing back then but like <laughs> Lord Sagat's like this big giant ass man and Princess Princess Emerald just tiny little, little girl, girl yes and she's like and. <laughs> I like I would have like let it slide if it was just Emerald liked him and wasn't the other way around, but no, they both liked each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Come on now, we gotta got think this is Japanese culture. Well it's well it's Japanese culture, but that's kinda was a thing back then in medieval stuff too. Yeah, yes. Like the the girls usually always would be the young be young and the man would usually be older. Yeah. It all just sounds so very barbaric. How can it be true? And besides, what relevance does this have to us? We're not of this world. Our best soldiers, knights, and magicians have tried and failed to defeat Sagat. The people of Sephiro simply cannot challenge the strength of his thought successfully. That settles it. We will become these magic knights and save Emerald for you. Emerald. Hey, hold on a minute. What makes you think you can speak for the rest of us, princess? It is by Emerald's wish that you have been called to this land. You don't have a choice. Only by yes. Your destiny uh, unless you want to go home. This is what you have to do. <laughs> She's not going to send you home. And only when that happens will the way home reopen to you. So, solve our problems. Or else! <laughs> Save Sephiro. Your destiny is to become magic knights and revive the machines. Machines? Can you wield magic? Uh. Oh my God! This is that. Uh, does the choice. Will, the, will the story will change if I say no? If I don't follow the actual plot? Well, I think she would actually say no because she wouldn't actually know how to wield magic. I go with that too. But whatever, Logic. whatever. There's no. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Uh, it, 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 there might be some fun little things if you change something, but I, I really doubt there's gonna be like, oh, I changed the story super hard. Then show me your skill right now. Mm, uh, maybe later. I had hoped that you would have at least some magic ability, but no matter. Magic transmission now. Oh, 
Henshin mode. They get all naked. <laughs> what a rush! I've never felt anything like that. What was it? I tried to give you some of my magic. But it seems it's the abuse is starting now. With a lot you have a young young boy no less. He's like, aha, I am ah, yeah, you're gonna be you can be these uh <laughs> magic knights, I'm gonna give you some power. He's like, okay, give us power Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the magic now? Uh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, mm, yeah, uh I, I don't know, yeah, I might need to put a little more magic. It'll stand still for a second. <laughs> Hikaru, close your eyes and feel the power. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, feel the power. Can you sense it? The strength is swelling within your very soul. Oh my god! Oh no! Where, where in where? her soul? Where in her body and her soul? I can feel it. My heart seems ablaze with a sense of purpose. That's right. You experience the wellspring of your magic. Spring, huh? Mm. That's what you call it, huh? Sploosh. <gasps> What's that? It appears that Zagat's forces have caught up with us. What? Summon Griffin. Get on quickly. But what are you gonna do? I'm gonna be turned to stone, but somehow being able to communicate you all later on. <laughs> I'll stop them from following you. Now go! That's insane! There is no time to argue. Go! Look for the machines. Volcano, sea, and sky. The machines are there. Class, don't be a fool! Go east. Tricia is there, within the forest of silence. Prisea. <laughs> Uh, Precia. <laughs> At least they, they never. They always yeah, Mokona, right? Well, well, well. It's been far too long, Clef. You always were a weak minded follower, Alcio. Your alignment with evil disappoints, but does not surprise me. She's only evil because she's mad thirst for Ziggurat. <laughs> she's simping. Ziggurat, yeah. To you, dear simping real hard for him. With the magic you taught me to master, I can now do things like this! I would expect no less a fight from the best magician in Sephiro. I taught you the secrets of my magic to protect Emerald. Now you spit in my face by turning the knowledge I gave you to the service of evil. Ah, yes. The clef I still remember vividly. Pure to the last. But how will she defeat me if I taught her? You ask. Simple. I just call on Zagat. Zagat! Power up now! As you wish, Alcyone. Oh no! Quick, I need a super soft. <laughs> Those sniveling magic knight wannabes are as good as mine now. If Alcyone destroys the three emeralds summoned, there can be no magic knights, and the machines will remain sealed forever. I pray they are strong enough, for soon this stone will overtake me. And the real enemy is much stronger than Alcyone. 